Good morning, it is time for another makeup look. I'm just gonna sit here and do my everyday go-to makeup, which is what you can see on my face right now. It's just a very easy, simple look. There's no foundation, there's no fiddly eyeliner, there's no powder. It's very, very basic and simple. And this is what I normally do, especially in the summer when it's too hot for foundation. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna start with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as an eye primer, because I could not imagine putting eyeshadow on without a primer underneath. And this is just gonna keep everything in place. If you live in a hot climate or your makeup tends to slide off your face very easily, you might want to invest in a face primer as well. There's plenty out there on the market and they do the same thing as this. They help your makeup stitch your face. Now today I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette, which is very, very popular. I'm going to go in with the paler colour and the darker colour. First with the paler colour, I'm just going to wash that all over the eyelid. And then with the same brush, I'm just going to flick off the excess there. I'm going to go in with the darker colour and concentrate on the outer V shape, just painting in that V or C or whatever letter you want to call it. Gonna blend that a bit with the other side. This is a double-ended brush that came with one of the Urban Decay palettes. And it's been quite useful. Now I'm gonna get my pointed fluffy brush and go in with the lighter colour, and this is a good trick for hooded eyes. You want to just bring it up onto the brown brow bone, just so you can see a little bit more colour there. Make sure there's no edges anywhere. Blend it all away. A little bit more with the darker one. My mirror is so dirty, I'm trying to see through the smudges on it. Now I'm just going to go in with my little angled brush here and I'm just going to run that in the darker one. I'm just going to bring it underneath the lower lash line, which I'm not going to see a huge difference, but it just sort of brings it all together. For eyeliner today, I haven't got any eyeliner with me and I'm going to use my brow powder. So what I'm going to do is go in with the darker one. You just want to dampen the brush a bit, then you go in with the darker powder and you can just push that into the lash line. You might want to turn the brush round. I use it facing both directions. Now I'm going to go in with a spoolie. Just I've forgotten to clip my fringe back today. Sorry about that. So back in with the lighter brow powder, and I'm just going to draw my brows in. Just fill in those gaps. I wanted to talk to you a bit about confidence today. Confidence in yourself and what you look like and what you think you look like. I'd say about 80% of my clients sit down in front of me 
and then apologise for something about their appearance. People will apologise for their skin, their nose, their wonky, whatever they think's wonky, um, this, their chin, their neck, all sorts of things people think that they have wrong with themselves that nobody else can see. It's a real shame because if we were all exactly the same, we'd all be very boring. We were made to be different and we were made to look different. When you walk down the street and you see other people, you don't immediately pick up on their defects, do you? You just see people. And I think people tend to forget that. Um, there is no point walking in There is no point walking around thinking that there's things wrong with you when you know deep down there's nothing wrong with you at all. Just because one person might have a smaller nose than you, it doesn't mean your nose is a defect, defective. It doesn't mean your nose is wrong. Your nose is your nose. I don't like my nose. My nose is too big, but I know in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. So I'd like you to all have a little bit more confidence in what you look like and what you look like without makeup on because I don't find it comfortable sitting here barefaced in front of whoever's watching. Right, I'm going to go in with a little bit of blusher. This time I have the NARS Sex Appeal Blusher. This is a new one that I've bought. I thought I would try something different because I normally use the Charlotte Tilbury First Love which is the palest Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the palest NARS one that I could find and I quite like it. It's actually even paler than the Charlotte Tilbury one. If you're not sure where to put your blush, do that. Put it there on the apples of your cheeks. I'm putting mascara on. Let's put some mascara on. Lips. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Muse Lip Liner. Christian Dior, Dior Addict Stella Shine. It's more of a lip balm. With a little bit of colour. And that is it. That is pretty much my go-to everyday makeup. Um, I hope that was very simple for you and easy to follow. And I hope you can see that a bit better as well because I have invested in a ring light so that everything is a bit brighter in here. I wouldn't have been able to film this otherwise because it is absolutely awful outside today. Um, and this is the sixth time that I filmed this video. I tried it about half an hour ago and I forgot to turn the brand new ring light on, which didn't help. And I did four other versions of this last week, which I absolutely hated. And that's why there was no makeup video last Friday. So hopefully uh, this one will be okay. It was very quick, very easy. And hopefully I will come up with another one soon. So the postman has been, and I have just been up to the road to collect my mail. I have got a very exciting delivery. And this ties in, I think, with my makeup video today because I know that this has come from a beauty vlogger on YouTube called Diary of a Beauty Geek. Let's see what she sent me. Hi Nikki, just a little something to brighten up your day and a thank you for your amazing videos and photos. Take care, Claire, Diary of a Beauty Geek. How exciting, what have we got here? Lashtopia, Dream Lashes Real Volume and Lift by Bare Minerals. There's tons of stuff in here, oh my God, it's like Christmas. <laughs> Bare Minerals G Nude Colour Lipstick, the Pro Collagen Hydrogel Eye Mask from Elemis. I have never tried anything by Elemis. That's really exciting. A new uh, cleansing cloth. Rose Flash Balm. Instant Skin Booster. I haven't tried that either. I uh, wouldn't have tried any of this. What's this? Firming Serum. Oh, it's by eCooking. I had a mask by them once. Helps to reduce fine lines. She must have watched me on a big screen. That's amazing. Eve Lom mask. Oh my God. Oh look, there's a little mini one. You like that, you can have that. What is it? It's the, um, that's, that nukes, that smell, that perfume that you tried the other day. This oh, is yeah. the oil version. It smells lovely. Yeah, smell it. Oh yeah, I really like that. It's lovely, nukes. If you've never tried it, it's a really lovely, 
perfumey oil thing. Very nice. Oh, brilliant. These are so handy, these mascaras. Little mini ones. What else have we got? What's this? Gradual Tan Colour Extender. An untinted daily moisturiser with a touch of tan. Builder Extend a Natural Glow. That will be useful for my white legs. Mm -hmm. Lumine Nordic Sea Glow Revealing Peeling Mask. You'll like that. Mm -hmm. What's we got? Molten Brown. Oh, that's handy for when we go to Ischia. Bath and Shower Gel. Jasmine and Sunrose. Oh, that oh, smells that's lovely. Nice. So many masks. <laughs> I, think, I think I mentioned the other day on a video that... No, I didn't mention it on a video. Actually, no, I'm... Somebody asked me to do a, re a review on masks and I replied, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have any. <laughs> now I've got about 20. Oh, the armor, it's, this is the cleansing foam. I've just bought the, um, the, the mud one. Yeah. Oh, don't film me that close. I've just bought the mud one of this. I love this brand. I'm not going to try and say it. Here we have platinum firm and lift cream. For, oh, from Pry. I've got the neck cream for that. Oh, those are all really handy sizes. Oh, there's another one of those. These are actually really useful because I'd run out of tester size cleansing balms. <gasps> Ooh, how exciting. Another Elemis thing, peptide plumping pillow facial. Brilliant. And another one. Superfood berry boost mask. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, look. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is amazing, Claire. I've always wanted to try that and that. Oh my God, how does she know? How does she have all this stuff? I mean, look, a little baby mouse bronzing powder. <gasps> that's scary. <laughs> oh, Ooh. that's good. Oops. I could use that for eyeshadow, actually. I like that. Let me see. That's really nice for eyeshadow. Yeah. It's a bit too dark for me as a bronzer, but that's definitely going on my eyes. Or I can use it. Oh my gosh, I've heard of this. Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. We've got masks for ever. Space masks, I've heard of these as well. All of my, all of my Instagram friends have these. Self-heating eye mask. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Skimono Beauty Masks. Hair therapy, oh, hair therapy, deep, deep conditioning hair mask. I could definitely do with that. Mine. <laughs> Foot and callus mask. Oh wow, masks for everything. Should we just put masks all over ourselves and scare the boys away? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Thank you so much, Claire. Everybody go and follow Claire on YouTube. She's Diary of a Beauty Geek. I will leave her details down below, but she's been an absolute star sending me all of this stuff. That's absolutely amazing. It's like Christmas. Thank you so much.